I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyline. <laughs> I'm Holden. And we are the, the Dean team. team. And today we are in the Nottingham area and we are going to take you to Wollaton Hall and Newstead Abbey, which is doing Newstead in Narnia. Ooh. What do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's go! Here's a look at where we're headed today. Wollaton Hall is located near Nottingham. And then later on today, we will be heading north about 35 minutes to get to Newstead Abbey. Wollaton Hall is set within 500 acres of parkland. I want to see a deer that big. It is free to get into Wollaton Hall. We did have to pay five pounds for all day parking, but otherwise no entry fee. To see this, that's crazy. What's that? Keep running up that road. Keep running up, up that hill. hill. It's quite the hill. <laughs> yeah. They do recommend a five pound donation, so you can even just tap to give. This gives you a history of Wollaton Hall through the years. And then their natural history museum came in. And then it was Wayne Manor in the Dark Knight Rises. Wollaton Hall was finished in 1588 after eight years of building work. In the mid 1600s, Wollaton Hall was badly damaged by fire and left empty for 40 years. In the early 1800s, it was completely reshaped and renovated, adding new wings and servant quarters. The faces are a little creepy. The symbol of the Willoughby family is an owl wearing a crown, and there are several of these dotted around the Great Hall. I see an owl wearing a crown. I see another owl wearing a crown. Check out the wallpaper in this ceiling. I just love how bright this room is. This room has a lot of kids' activities, a lot of cool things to explore. You building your own castle? Yeah. They have all kinds of costumes that you can try on. And then they even have the bat suit, so you can be Batman. This is cool, it says Len Wilde was Wallaton's first taxidermist. He was originally a gardener on the estate and was appointed as a taxidermist when Wallaton became a museum in 1926. He was only 22 at the time. The traditional wall displays in this gallery show how the museum appeared in 1938, shortly after the collections were moved from the city center to Wallaton Hall. The museum's original collection was provided by the Nottingham Naturalist Society in the mid-1800s. The resulting free museum opened to the public in the city center in 1871 at Wheeler Gate. In 1925, Nottingham City purchased Wallaton Hall specifically to rehouse and display the natural history collection. After decades of moving from building to building in the city center, the Nottingham Natural History Museum collections eventually found a permanent home at Wallaton Hall. The museum opened to the public in 1926. One of the greatest things is how many interactive elements they have here. So it's not just looking at things, but they have so many activities for kids. So it is a perfect way for them to explore and learn. But I would recommend anyone to come here, especially because it's free. And it's such an amazing history museum. It's a massive collection. Rock bird is has, like a rock out bird. Because it he has, has a mo mohawk. And then these two birds, this blue bird right here, and this teal and purple one, the purple breasted katunga, is my, those, those are my favorite. They're so pretty. They are beautiful. Those are your favorite color. Yep. They have a turtle? <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Oh, look at all. That is not what I expected. Okay, I'm gonna spin it. Okay. Now that's a beautiful bird. That is a beautiful bird. Do you see the flamingo? It's a demogorgon. <laughs> it does look like a demogorgon. Oh, a duck billed platypus. It's such a wide assortment of animals. Simba, the little lion cub. I've never seen a pangolin. Pang pangolin? Hissing cockroaches. That pheasant is beautiful. Look over here. Look at that. It tells you on every display if they're extinct, extinct in the wild, critically endangered. An orangutan skeleton looks really happy. Can you see the family resemblance? I see it, Scott. 
<laughs> yeah. Here's a modern skull and a Neanderthal skull. Jurassic Oceans. Ooh, Pangea. We were just talking about Pangea with the kids because they were learning about it. Holden, what's Pangea? A supercontinent. This is taking us into the ice ages. We've even got a woolly mammoth tusk up there. This is 113 million years old. This is a raptor skull, 80 million years old. Amazing minerals. These are so beautiful. 425 million years ago, ago Nottingham was located near the South Pole. <laughs> that is crazy. 248 million years ago. 90% of species died out, including the bug-like trilobites. 425 million years old. Skyla, have you ever seen a shooting star? I mean, going through the sky, but like this, no. Now you have. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make a full rotation from January to December. Wait, for my birthday, back in April. That's where it was? That's where it would have been. For your birthday in May, now in June, in May, that's where it would have been. The Earth is just spinning and spinning. Skyla's favorite thing is a microscope, so this is her and her element. Zoom in to see the crystal structure and fine details preserved in these rocks and fossils. So all of these are rocks and fossils. Oh my goodness. Skyla now decided to look at her own skin. That is pretty bonkers. Shaboof. Okay, so we're heading this way now. I never thought I would say I was in love with the staircase, but these are just breathtaking. <laughs> Diorama backgrounds are by tradition painted, often by the taxidermists themselves. There's great skill involved in giving the 2D scenes enough perspective to merge seamlessly with the 3D objects. A well-painted background will give the illusion that the featured specimens are in their natural environment. This wall shows what some of the museum's taxidermy stores look like. The vast majority of taxidermy specimens in the museum are kept in storage. But here's an overview of everything you can see in this room. That's a good exploring tent in there. Yeah. We're going in the hole. Look at some stuff. Look at the sea turtle. Hi, Mom. I see you in there. A zebra. And then the back side of antelope. Then over here, we've got a doe, a crocodile down there. There they are. Skyla is creating a diorama. I created one too. You did? What animals did you put in your diorama? Um, I did a gray wolf. The final product. I love it. Well done. The methods used to preserve and prepare natural history objects depends on the type of specimen. European badgers are much lighter than ones that we've seen before. We just walked through an exhibition where they have some of the tiniest micro sculptures ever created, like sculptures inside of a pinhead. It was insane. Like for one of them, they said that he actually used one of his own eyelashes as a paintbrush. It was amazing. Couldn't take pictures in there, but my goodness, it was just extraordinary. And it was everything from the footballer Ronaldo to Albert Einstein, kids on a teeter-totter. It was all different kinds of scenes on these teeny pinheads. One was on a mustache whisker. I mean, it was crazy. It was so cool. What is this, a school for ants? How do you expect them to learn if they can't even fit inside the building? Up here, we get a really nice view of everything that we saw down from below when we first arrived. We're also a little bit closer to these creepy faces up here. This is the organ. Titus will be back in a few months. We didn't get to see him today, but here are some of his bones. We saw baby Simba. Now we see... Big Simba. <laughs> you can get your Batman gear in the gift shop or your Robin Hood things if you need that too. Yeah. 
The Nottingham Industrial Museum is four pounds for adults. Kids are free. This is a beautiful courtyard. There's a massive cafe. There's another gift shop over here, and it's a great place to get your energy out. There's also a beautiful lake walk around. The grounds are massive. It's a deer park as well. So we don't have time for that today, and it's also pretty cold. But on a nice summer day, this would be such a great place to take your kids and just let them run, get some energy out. Might need to come back when it's warmer weather. Just saying. This is a very neat space. This is really fun. So, there's these things. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you have to hold on to the rope. This is hard with one hand. And make it, dang it, I dropped you. Ah! You have to make it all the way up there. Okay, I made it up. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Way more harder than you expect. Oh, let me just take a moment. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go down the slide now. I'm gonna film me for this part. Going down face first. Oh, oh, oh. That was fun. Did you do the slide already? Yeah, it's dangerous. Way too dangerous. Newstead Abbey dates back from the late 12th century. Lord Byron lived here between 1808 and 1814. That's residential housing? A lot of my friends lived on the ground. What? From Weasley's dad in Harry Potter as well. Yes, Arthur. What? I met him here. You met Arthur Weasley? Yeah, loads of celebrities from now we are about 30 minutes down the road. We're going to head into Newstead Abbey. They're doing Narnia in Newstead. So we're so excited. I think it's going to be magical. It's 12 pounds to get into the house for adults. Kids are free. To get onto the grounds cost six pounds for the car to park. You can also pay two pounds to walk up or to bike in. See, you've got all of the Robin Hood things here. There's a craft fair you can visit, which is a big part of this event. It looks like the smoke is coming out of the train. That's so neat. Oh, that's Lord Byron. Okay. There's Lord Byron, who lived here. Pick up a card and find the items around the house. So what are we looking for? Oh, look up there. That guy's Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad? Oh, you can, it's a photo op. Oh, we have to do it. That's excellent. That's a really festive fireplace. This is part of the whole Narnia theme. You can be one of the children. And then we have our look and find. And this was one of the things we were looking for. Wait, there's a mirror. There's a mirror. I'm the first, I'm the first example now. <laughs> Ready. You got the mirror, okay. Are we heading in? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bye Holden, we'll never Actually, see no. you again. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the coats and everything, Scott. Oh my goodness, I'm living my dreams right now. Oh, this is so, literally, it's like, Okay, so wait. this is amazing. There's a mouse, mouse in the mirror. I've just come from around the box. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus is here. Oh, you get to place everything around? I'll be the girl of the sister. Are you going to put me to sleep and I then am. try to take me to the Would white you like witch? Some tea? Not the tea you're serving. 
stuff. They've got a warm fire going. I feel like this would be a good place. This would be a good place to put the candle, but. Oh, you're still looking for all your items. This is after they wreck his house. Oh, so sad. They all care. <laughs> We have all the Turkish delight over here. We've got her sled. Yeah, you can. Do you feel wicked? I feel cozy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Also, look at the ceiling. Hey, that's where I work. <laughs> they made these? Yeah. Yeah, second year students for uni. My uni. That is amazing. And they made like a film thing out of it too. Yeah. Found another one. They're getting all of their gifts. Gone to the White Witch? Oh dear, how could this happen? Your face was with the Lord Byron like you were besties for a second. So yeah, we're with Stacy, whose mom was the secretary of the Lord Byron Society. So she's given me all the inside scoop on Lord Byron and he loved his dogs. So that's why they get these nice spots up on the wall. We have the transition from the snow and now it's starting to thaw. That's very cool. <laughs> Everyone's getting a sword just to get yourself a bottle. <laughs> hey, that's like the stuff that, yes, yeah, magic. I like the bigger one. You, you like the, the big sword? The ball is the yeah. magic, baby. That is. Swing it, knock Swing it and knock them down. Oh, you got two. Good job, bud. Wow. These were made by students. <laughs> oh, I love it. I cannot believe we have a new king and queen of Narnia. <laughs> the architecture and everything, like look at the ceiling. You have to exit Narnia. Are you ready? Look, there's another Robin. Oh, you're still finding things. All right, a Robin. out we go. Back out into the real world. It's Lord Byron's study. This woolen cloak belonged to Lord Byron. You can pick something to color. More artwork created by uni students. I could sit in here and read a book and have a cup of tea and a crumpet. Downstairs over there. Children are safer in the country. Leave them there. Just a cozy little bench. And then look at these. There's Mr. Tumnus. Those are really cool. Yeah, these are awesome. Robin's inside Narnia at the moment. Oh yeah, I want to. What is it? Oh look, there's yeah, you're in Narnia. There's um the Mr. Thomas and the... Yeah. Here's Lord Byron's inkwell. That's part of a monument he made for Boatswain, his dog. Some suits. Henry VIII destroying monasteries. <laughs> monasteries? Monasteries. Mo monasteries. <laughs> monasteries. I'm saying it right. Santa got a severe cut. Ooh. <laughs> Did you not got the white feathers oh, yet? The baby swans. Oh, baby swans. That's well, then, really yeah, they'll, cool. they'll get the white feathers soon. I mean, so they go from, yeah. they all look like the ugly duckling yeah. into a swan yeah. at first. I didn't know that. Yeah. Be careful of the mud and the puddles, you all. <laughs> we have to go around? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're following the leader, the leader, the leader. <laughs> Here at Newstead, there are 300 acres of parkland to explore. There are family trails where you can hunt for clues and claim a prize at the end. Heading into the playground. 
<laughs> You're the same weight, so you just are totally equal. Push off with your feet. That's it. Keep going. Use those calves. <laughs> there was a cat sitting. Oh, these trees are cool. These trees are like Tim Burton sitting. trees. Yeah, they there was are. a cat sitting right. Oh, look at that sunset. Yeah. Ooh. Wintry sunset. Doesn't like the kids turn them into a giant spider? So hold them, though. Hi guys, this is why we need a water. Hello. I told you they were babies, one, yeah, Kristen. Yeah, because those are the babies. And then Mama. We're disappearing. Steep steps in deep water, just what you want with five children. <laughs> Carrying kids' coat. Crossing the stepping stones. Balance required. <laughs> Here's a very nice cafe with some outdoor seating. There are also formal gardens behind the house. We wish we could explore more of the grounds today, but we're losing daylight, so we will just have to come back. Do you tell your man? Do you tell your man? The sun is setting over Newstead. Thank you so much for coming along with us today to Wallaton Hall, the History Museum there, and then Newstead Abbey for Narnia and Newstead. That was amazing to see two totally different places and have the kids experience buildings and artifacts that they have never seen anything the likes of in the United States. So what an amazing time. We got to see friends, spend time with them, which has been so amazing. We have a whole series of logs of our adventures over here in England and France. We'll put a link in the description. Thanks for coming along with us and we'll see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring.